today we have our 13th annual Centennial Under the Stars. Started out at Centennial Medical Plaza for a number of years until we built our park and got our amphitheater built. And as you can hear, the concert's going on in the background and we have live music all night long with a laser light show at the end of the evening. A lot of people feel that they want to see their community supported by the businesses that are out there. Ting's done a great job being at our events annually for years, even while the network's been under construction. We go to all these neighborhoods once we construct. We have events. They're for the kids. They're for the families. And we want everyone to know that we're not just in it to, to provide service for them. We're in it to be a partner with them. We love the people. We love the thriving culture. As you can see, it's beautiful here, and Ting loves to be a part of things like this. The biggest challenge for us has been keeping the momentum going and having the community support it as well as the community be patient for it to actually be complete. You know, I wouldn't say there are challenges as much as just some education on the construction process. Centennial is used to having all the utilities in the back of the yard, and once that education's been out there, it's been no issues at all. It's been a really fun process, building out fiber and seeing that huge demand here. It's really exciting. They can't wait for it to be completed. We've already had businesses sign on to the Central Corridor and we're working with our stakeholders as well. So Centennial has worked very hard to be ready for any opportunity that comes before it. And so a fiber optic network for us provides not only an economic development tool, but it also provides a key piece of infrastructure that we believe we'll need going forward in the future.